Well, mosquitoes are well known as annoying pests and as carriers of disease causing uh, viruses. Their rapid wing movement produces a distinctive high pitched hum when it gets in your ear and their bites cause red itchy welts that are very uncomfortable. In Alabama, there are about 60 different species of mosquitoes. Some are disease carriers, some are nuisance species, but they're not known to transmit disease and some are actually beneficial. Calhoun County Extension Coordinator Dr. David West says this is the season for mosquitoes. This time of year the weather is a little bit more favorable for development uh, and if we were getting more rain right now uh, or if you are uh, irrigating, maybe irrigating your lawn or if you're keeping plants in your garden irrigated and you're creating standing water, uh, standing water is our culprit for mosquitoes. Now, as he said, we've been warned for years about standing water around homes, dwellings, schools, and other facilities, but recent reminders encourage us to look past our own properties. Abandoned or poorly maintained swimming pools, either above or in ground, are also wonderful mosquito nurseries. When you're using irrigation, if you're leaving standing water, we want to avoid having standing water, and that might be in, uh, in old flower pots, old tires, uh, the little reservoirs on your flower pots, uh, those types of things, sometimes bird baths. Uh, now, you can buy some, some of those little chemical blocks, uh, mosquito blocks, to put in those types of things. If you've got a, uh, a little water pond in your yard, a decorative pond or something, you can use those to uh, help control uh, uh, the mosquito larvae that are in those ponds. The most effective way to protect yourself from being bitten is to avoid mosquitoes altogether by scheduling outdoor activities before or after peak mosquito activity, which is usually in the late afternoon and at dusk. Anytime you're outdoors during mosquito season, be sure to wear long sleeves and long pants. You can also use repellents containing EPA registered products to discourage mosquitoes from biting. West adds that if you are concerned about the Zika virus, you can also pay close attention to media reports. It's something that uh, uh, you know may be a concern for us later on. It's not something that I would be uh, uh, all upset and nervous over. But uh, if there can be, a, if a control can be developed for it, uh, then you know the United States is is the country that'll do it. If you have any questions or concerns regarding mosquito-borne diseases and prevention, contact your county extension office for advice and recommendations.